Most of the experts are saying that the Republicans are likely to lose the House, in which case it's a pretty good bet that the Democrats are going to start impeachment proceedings. The organization responsible for keeping the majority for Donald Trump is the National Republican Congressional Committee. Quick huddle. What's going on? LA Times are doing a national piece on a lot of the ads that are coming out and our efforts to disqualify some of the Democratic candidates. This is the brains and war room responsible for the data. Comstock is up, we have a clear direction to go in, so things are looking good in that race. Money raising, the ground game. Uh, in Pennsylvania 8, Matt Cartwright's out with an ad responding to our ad on sanctuary cities. It looks like he thinks that's an issue of vulnerability for him. Okay, push the sanctuary cities defense nationally too. Let's just get it out. You got two months. Two months. Any off year for an incumbent president is tough. The out party has a enthusiasm advantage. Yeah. Are you mm -hmm. seeing that out there as well? Oh, absolutely. How do, you, how do you combat that? Oh, look, Democrats are enthused, no doubt about it. Republicans can get there. The air war is going on. People are running millions of dollars ads against each other. You need to focus on the issues folks are caring about. Immigration, Nancy Pelosi, certainly the economy. We're seeing you know low unemployment, high economic growth. But if you looked at the, all those economic factors, yeah. you're right, they're spectacular. Yeah. You should be killing the Democrats yeah. right now. So why aren't you? I think, again, we have, to, we have to really make sure we're getting our message out. Unquestionably, Trump is the big factor, both plus, minus, you know, it's, it's all about Donald Trump. Can you talk to me a little bit about how things are different this cycle than they were? I think things really burn hot quick right now. And I think you need to make sure that we're on to the next thing. If people's attention spans are different. All the Democrats have to do is get 23 seats to, to gain the majority. Can you stop that? Yes. This is potentially the new face of the Democratic Party. They are extremely diverse. They are veterans. They are majority women. I think these people look like our country much more than the Republican caucus. And I think these people are going to push for the policy priorities and the values that are much more in line with the American people. Um, we'll get started. Please go around just top lines for your districts. Clark Tucker's team in Arkansas is doing a presser today on health care. We're going to clip that and push it around and make sure that folks nationally know that our candidates are talking health care, health care, health care. A lot of ads we're seeing from Republicans, I think they're struggling to run against our veterans. We had a really great package on Fox with Crow yesterday in Colorado 6, focusing on him as a vet. Today, working with Elaine Loria's team in Virginia Beach as the hurricane approaches. Why focus on so many races? Why not just focus on 23 key races that will change mm -hmm. the majority of the, the House? The first step was building a massive battlefield and targeting over 100 districts to stretch the Republicans thin. We want them looking over their shoulder in as many places as possible. We want their significant outside money advantage to be diluted across as many districts as possible as well. It feels like there's a lot of Democratic enthusiasm. Is it sustainable? I mean, are Democrats going to finally figure out that you need to cast votes in the midterm elections? We were very worried about that question. But as we've inched closer and closer to the election, there have been different proof points along the way that people are energized. Yeah, you have President Trump, though, which you don't usually have. Correct. There is nothing predictable or normal about President Trump and his impact on campaigns and other elections. You know, we all saw that in 2016, and we've built our strategy assuming that historic norms and trends would not hold. Democrats are going to rise up and do, be better, and that's sort of how we deal with the what is a regular onslaught of disgusting and disturbing comments from Donald Trump. Mm. Are you worried, though, that this influx of far-left blood could complicate the broader mission of the party? I think that's really a question for 2020. I don't see it impacting 2018. I think there's nothing more unifying than flipping the House and taking it back from Republicans and putting a check and balance on this Republican-controlled Washington, D.C. But 2020 might be a different story. Sure, but that's someone else's job. <laughs>